There's always challenges. The first challenge is people don't understand what we're doing. So we need to actually educate and explain the ideas and how we're taking this vision and putting it into pragmatic solutions that can help people. You know, it's not enough just to have a vision, but you have to execute that vision. That needs pragmatic approaches and needs approaches at the grassroots. You know, you change a person's life, you can change many people's lives, but it has to be done step by step. Secondly, what we need to do is in addition to the work we're doing, you know what they say, there's a Zen saying in Zen Buddhism, if a tree falls in the forest but nobody hears it, does it make a sound? Well, it doesn't make a sound if nobody's there to listen. So we can do a lot of work with medical outreach, educational outreach, sustainable development, microfinance. But if we don't take that work and transform it into a voice that other people can hear, they can't benefit from that. They can't take those ideas and transform it into their own society. So we're combining, on one hand, the grassroots work that we're doing with a media outreach to expand these ideas, share them with others, and integrate them with many different movements that are going around the world today. Actually, the Himalayan consensus movement doesn't begin here with me. It actually is taking place across the globe. There's many different NGOs who are thinking this way, individual activists who have their own programs. We need to bring these voices together into a consensus and make that consensus a political activist voice, actually transnational political movement that can actually change the policies of governments and in turn the behavior of corporations. If we don't do that, we're not going to be able to preserve the ethnic identity of so many people throughout the world and we're not going to be able to preserve this environment if we don't have this environment we have nothing you know what is the good of having so much money when you open the door and you walk out and you're breathing polluted air